So what happens when we want to export our presentation? So by export it could mean just save it and you can see that you've got different uh, different file formats. Normally you've got the ODP and the PPT formats. The two of them are the most um, they, they are the predominant file formats or you can just export it in different formats. So the most important is file export as PDF. It's something that you do not have in PowerPoint or uh, Word, Excel. Um, so there is a PDF printer um, embedded to impress. So directly I can just export blah blah blah. I will be um, preparing a series of tutorials on PDF files, what a PDF file is, how to manipulate it. So all these things here or at least half of them are going to be explained um, in that series. So the obvious question is why would I need a PDF if I already have an ODP or a PPT? Well the answer is very very um, obvious. Um, I've been to quite a few conferences and very often you've got the same phenomenon, the same case. There is um, a person that wants to do a presentation and they're going to come with a flash drive and they're going to um, you know the USB flash drive they're going to connect it they're going to open the file and then the computer is going to say sorry I don't want to open it there's a problem or they're going to open it and then are they going to be happy oh it can open my file and then a few seconds later you're going to see them um, grunt and grin and say oh it shouldn't be it's not supposed to be like that there's something missing blah 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 that's because when you have for example uh, an ODP file and you have to open it with PowerPoint sometimes or the other way around sometimes there are some incompatibilities so there is something that's going to be altered or if you have the um, the newest version of Microsoft uh, like um, 2010 or 13 the native format I think 2007 as well the native format uh, file format was PPTX and not PPT so the PPTX you cannot open it within XP Microsoft Office so that's going to be another problem so you cannot always know what the version of OpenOffice or whatever is installed on the on your audience's computer so a PDF file is well you can open it and you can uh, you can set it to anyone and it's going to be exactly the same as it is on your computer so it's a matter of compatibility other than that you may want to um, take this slide for example take the whole slide and save it or export it as a JPEG so you can go file export and then you've got the TIFF, the BMP, the blah 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 and you can find JPEG and just save it. You've got the quality, I'm gonna get 100%, the color mode blah blah blah, gray or true color blah 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 and you've got the result here and I've got my slide here or you might want to only get this thing so you don't want the whole slide you just want this chart to be uh, exported into a JPEG so file export again but this time you're going to check selection I've got JPEG alright let's got a better resolution And you've got only the chart because imagine if you had to do something like that get the whole thing and then you have to open Photoshop or GIMP so let's wait a bit so it takes some time I'm not going to pause the presentation just to show you how much time uh, it will get me to 
get the same result and then I have to go in here and then I have to get um, I think this is the crop crop tool and get it like that I have to be quite precise and then just enter and then file save save all that so that takes a lot of time so luckily I had the this thing here that changed my life and I got I saved like 15 or 20 seconds of my life so imagine if you have to do that uh, very often and I think you, you might want to do is to save every single slide because as you saw I just I was able to save one slide in a JPEG so if I want to do it do it 25 times uh, that's that takes a lot of time too so I may want to ask myself is there anything a plugin an extension that can help me do that uh, so take the whole presentation and um, save export every single slide in a separate image luckily for us there is so it's called export as images so all you have to do is let's go here or let's go back here so I will go to open office uh, extensions um, don't mind that and then I will write something like export slides and this is what I came up with um, so I just downloaded it I have shown you already in the in the tutorial where I talk about um, templates or master pages we talked how to we talked about how to um, download and install extensions you just download um, you install it and then you've got this option here so I just go export these images I can choose any one of the five width blah 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 quality 100 type or select export directory I'm going to um, save it on the desktop and create a new directory and export and there you go you just saw how I saved a minute of my life one minute here 25 seconds there that makes a whole lot of difference so there you go I've got my five eight slides so this is how you export uh, from impress to other uh, file formats.